Hello peoples there. I'm back here with the Veo Hyper Mini ST and I am replacing the shocks. Not because there's anything fundamentally wrong with them, they're just uh well, let me get one that's cleaner. They're just a little bit they're worn out. The shock shaft is uh these spacers need to be replaced in there, it's all wiggling around. They <clears throat> they leak out pretty quick, so I had some of these laying around, not these specific ones, but um Tracks to shocks, these are just from a rustler, a VXL. Um, and these, uh, you have to get the ones with these caps. Um, not the old style, this is the relatively newer style one. Um, but if you just pop that ball end out, it actually snaps right onto the um, the uh, Habeo mount here, so that's kind of handy. <clears throat> just snaps right on there. It's pretty good. Does it doesn't hold bind up too much? It does a little bit on this side, but I think I could fix that with just uh, you know sanding it down a little bit on the mount. But yeah, so if you're looking for a shock alternative to your, I mean, this would work on the uh, Hyper 10 SC and the Hyper TT electric or nitro, either one. But if you're looking for alternatives, uh, that's. The Traxxas shocks are a pretty good alternative. They are a little bit longer, so uh, there are droop screws on this chassis, so you just might probably want to uh, ex extend those out so you're not getting too crazy suspension travel, which is nice, but your uh, drive shafts are going to be complaining a little bit. By complaining, I mean wearing out super quick. So, yeah, that's just a little, if you didn't know already, there now you know. Traxxas, uh, Traxxas shocks, they're a direct fit. Spring spring fits on there, no problem. You just have to change the eyelets. I use the use the um, eyelets from the original shock and the also the spring retainer. So I use the original spring retainer and the you know the end here, and it fits right on, no problem. It even snaps on the little um, ball stud mount there. So. Yeah, I uh, probably need to change the shock oils too. It's, it might be a little bit thin, but I'll work on that later. But yeah, so I'll be putting these on here, and we'll be we'll be good to go. These are pretty uh, pretty bound up here. So yeah, thanks for watching.